If you are new here, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification to not miss any future videos. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Riven here. How are you guys doing? So guys, as you can see, we have a different type of video today. So this format of video was suggested by my friend and a very good YouTuber. What's up, folks? His real name is Indranil, but his channel name is What's Up, folks? So if you want to watch his content, and I really tell you, I really ask you to go and watch his channel and subscribe to him because he really makes some awesome videos. So I will link it up here. So you can watch his channel there and I will suggest you to subscribe because he really gets some really good content every day and just watch him and subscribe and help him reach his goal of 1300 subscribers. So guys that is for the promotion <laughs> for my friend and now we are going to talk about something interesting and I really made the video for that. So as you know we are getting the Gengar day in Pokemon Go in a week. And in, we, in a week, we will be able to get Gengar and a shiny form. And we will be able to get 5 raid passes. If you don't know, we are we will be able to get 5 raid passes every day. And it will be one day. So you will be able to get 5 raid passes. And you will be able to fight Gengars at gym battles. They will be at raid bosses. So in order to get a shiny Gengar, you need to fight and defeat the raid boss and capture the Gengar sorry wait a second so if you want to catch the Gengar you need to get five raid passes and after that you need to buy raid passes but <laughs> you're not buying it you are a part of the Raven family so you don't have to buy any raid passes so I'm going to tell you a really good idea and how to store your poke coins and how you can get at least 20 raid passes for that day and the usual 15 rate pass trick is I think every one of you know the usual 15 rate pass hack so I'm not going to tell it now but if you want it and if you don't know the 15 rate pass trick then comment down and I will make another video for it so what I'm going to talk about so if you want to get a Gengar you need to get some rate passes but Raid passes doesn't come cheap and certainly not free but you can get them so today I'm going to tell you how to do that and be on the lookout for new video guys because on the day of the Gengar day I'm going to make some awesome live streams so be ready for that guys so for the current topic if you want to get a Gengar or if you want to get the rate passes you need to store poke coins and a way to get poke coins is to a way to get poke coins is to just store your pokemon in a gym and when the pokemon is thrown out or the pokemon is defeated and it gets back to you you get poke coins and it's like 10 minutes to one poke coin i think and you can get 50 poke coins a day so if you use this idea and get yourself pokecoins every day 50 for example if you get 50 pokecoins every day and we got around five days left so you will be able to get at least 250 pokecoins so you can get two more raid passes and if you do it with multi accounting you can get 10 you can get around 50 raid passes on total if you use multi accounting so if you want you can use multi accounting but I don't condone it because Niantic is banning everyone that think is using multi accounts so use it at your own risk and so now there are certain places where the gyms are really weak and if it before you think that oh my god the gyms are weak so they can easily take over and you should take over no 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 they usually want it weak because they want to earn poke coins and for that you they need to put their pokemon in gym i personally know a few people in america who do that in their area and i usually go there and if they need my help to get poke coins and if they want me i usually go there 
defeat their Pokemon and put my Pokemon in there and I will tell them again later that day just defeat my Pokemon and send it back and we do it so for that reason you need to you can do that and when you do that I will suggest you to do what I will suggest you to do is get Pokemons that are CP 500 to 1000 which is not that powerful but is not that weak so your Pokemon will take some time to get defeated and I'm going to be showing gameplay of different areas and I have found good places uh, I have found two of the good places where you can get the Pokecoins and I will put the coordinates in the description so you can go there so basically you need to do is go there and get your Pokemon out just get them out get them into the gym wait for them to get out and get defeated and after that what the hell am I? So I'm sweating even though I have the AC at 16 degrees Celsius. So what the hell? So you need to do is when your Pokemon gets out, you need to restock them. I mean, you need to heal them, and after that, just repeat the process again and again. And if you do it continuously, like, like me, you will be able to get 1,000 to 2,000 Pokecoins. And I usually did that. I did that for the Zapdos day, and I got five shiny Zapdoses. So that's a plus for me. You can do that trick and Niantic is also holding future events like that. So you can use them, you can use the technique to get free raid passes and even good updates like for the safari zones and the community days, you can upgrade your Pokemon back storage or normal back storage to get new items in there. So for that reason you can use that and if you like this technique, be sure to use it and comment down and tell me is the technique working for you or is it not so this is basically what i had to tell you guys today and if you like this kind of video then tell me i will make this kind of videos again so my name is raven guys i will see you in the next video goodbye have a great day and see ya